We are going to stay alert to the developments uh, in Israel. Uh, the country does say its border with Gaza is now secure four days after that surprise attack by Hamas. NBC's Kelly Kobiea is live once again for us in Tel Aviv this morning. Hi, Kelly. Hey, good morning, Carl. Yeah, we're actually at a hospital, the largest hospital in Israel here in central Tel Aviv. And what you see behind me is a massive blood drive. People have been lining up, waiting for hours in some cases to give blood here. They're also opening up an underground hospital, a secure hospital, turning a multi-story car garage underneath the hospital into uh, a place where they can take care of patients, where patients can be safe in the worst possible case scenario, according to the CEO in the case of, say, a multi-missile uh, strike on Tel Aviv. Uh, in On the ground, the Israeli Defense Forces are continuing their counter-offensive uh, against Gaza. There were something like 200 strikes on Gaza positions overnight and into today. Israel says that they're targeting all sorts of uh, key operational positions for Hamas and Islamic Jihad, including a command center, they say, was in a mosque, and weapons storage, they say, was also uh, hidden in a mosque. The effect on the ground, though, for civilians in Gaza is absolutely catastrophic. The U.N. saying that 180-plus thousand people have now been displaced uh, inside Gaza. There are uh, hundreds of homes that have been destroyed. Apartment buildings have been caught in this, no matter how uh, precisely the Israelis say that they are striking, it, it is sort of inevitable in Gaza that, that civilians will be affected. We've seen video of children being carried out of the rubble and into ambulances there. The United Nations says more than 100 children uh, were have been killed in Gaza. The numbers continue to rise there. And the humanitarian situation there is really reaching a crisis point. Apparently, uh, fuel and medicine supplies running low. That fuel is used to keep uh, those hospitals somewhat operational in Gaza. Uh, here in Israel, we're still hearing air raid sirens today. We heard one just a short time ago while we were here at the hospital on our way to try to interview a patient. And it's, you know, simply a case of everybody gathering into the, the one safe space they can find on that floor in the hospital. For us, it was right next to some elevators with about a dozen women who are all in the hospital because of high-risk pregnancies. The doctor said, we don't really have a shelter on this level, so this is what we do every time an air raid siren sounds. So this is the kind of thing that's happening in Tel Aviv and other parts of Israel today as these air raid sirens continue, as the counter-offensive uh, counter continues in Gaza. Carl. Kelly, that's great call around the ground. We appreciate that. Of course, uh, we do expect to hear from the president here uh, this afternoon with some more remarks uh, on the situation. Uh, Kelly, we'll talk soon.